The application of nitrogen will stimulate fall growth if manure was not applied. Adding nitrogen is especially important if a grower is planting annual ryegrass later in the fall. When properly seeded, growers can expect to see at least two to four inches of top growth on annual ryegrass before a hard killing freeze. If the crop is well established before winter comes, deep root growth may continue below the soil. Root wise, uh, what we found is that most of the real root depth uh, growth occurs in the spring. We've got a nice root mass out here at the surface right now. Uh, and, and I would guess that we've got roots down to maybe a foot at this point. Um, and the neat thing about ryegrass is, uh, you know, if you get roots down below frozen layers, they'll continue to grow and develop, albeit slowly, throughout the winter. Uh, they never quit. By spring, when rapid top growth resumes, annual ryegrass roots stretch deep into the soil. With this annual ryegrass, we had some of those feeder roots that went down up to 32 inches. So, you know, a person in general can just look at that and, and see that that annual ryegrass has created that root channel for that corn crop, let's say, coming in there, where it can send them feeder roots out and get down a lot deeper and find that moisture that, you know, may be crucial towards the end of summer. Plus, it's a soil quality issue, you know, trying to improve organic matter, um, you know, trying to increase the soil tilth and, and um, you know, get the soil right so that you can, so the soil's working for you rather than you working the soil. This deep root growth creates dramatic benefits for soil health and for the corn or soybean crops that will follow. We're going to increase the infiltration because we're going to increase the macropores in the soil. So we're going to have less runoff. These macropores are going to enable the corn and soybean roots to grow through restricted air areas to get the roots deeper. And again, in dry years, when it's dry in, in July, August, those crops are going to have more moisture in order to produce higher yields.